Here I'm going to show you the easiest possible 24-7 station. It'll be a single script line. So I've launched Scheduler. I'm in Scheduler Basic. I don't need the advanced features. I'm going to go down to this button down here, make a new program. We can name it whatever we want, color it whatever we want, not important right now. First I'm going to pick what days I want. I want weekdays and weekends. At seven days. Then with this selected, if I hit the plus button, I'll get all the hours. I take it up to 11 p.m. That covers the 24-7. This is a 60-minute length program segment I'm making. If I look at the week view, I can see all the times are filled in. And let's put on a little bit of artist uh, composer separation. I'll choose about 20. Some album separation, useful for oh, uh, compilation albums where you want to protect, uh, even though you may have different artists uh, already being separated, you want to separate actual compilation albums. We don't need any same title, different artist separation because for the type of music I'm doing, I'm not going to have uh, the same song sung by different people. And that's all the setup there. For the script, single script line, we're going to make it a fill. And we're going to take it to a minimum of 60 minutes to a maximum of 60 minutes. We'll choose a playlist to pick from. I'm going to use my Modern Transfer Rotation playlist. I'm going to select to put on random so it picks from it randomly. Unique so it uh, makes sure that tracks that haven't played yet that are either in the queue or are being scheduled when the schedules are not repeated. The separations, that's the artist composer separation, album separation, and hour avoidance to keep us from playing the same song in the same hour for a full week. Uh, so you can't hear the same song played, let's say, uh, today, Wednesday. Uh, you wouldn't hear uh, in the same hour on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, etc. But let's go take a look at the playlist that we're picking from very quickly. So this is the playlist. It's, it's a smart playlist and this is a very important part of the rotation which I described in the other video. And you can make smart playlists from this menu here new smart playlist and I'm just going to edit it so it looks like what it would look like when you go to make one and here I'm picking from playlist a, another playlist some other smart playlist but I could make this simpler yet I could do uh, I could pick from a genre and let's say that genre should be contain modern trance I'm not going to limit it to the least recently played right now and we'll see I actually have 721 uh, songs in that genre but let me edit it again and out of that 720 I only want to show 150 selected by what you know what least recently played and that that's what gives us our rotation so once we start playing songs we're not going to hear them the same song hour after hour very important part of rotation so with that done I think we have everything all set up now normally this will uh, do its uh, uh, scheduling 20 minutes before the top of the hour so it would have done it at 240 it will do it again at 340 the 240 would be for 3 o'clock the 340 would be for 4 o'clock but since it hasn't done it right now uh, what I'm going to do uh, I just hit this triangle up here next to be scheduled would be 4 o'clock well let's fill in the 3 o'clock hour right now let's go look at DJ for one auto is on and DJ it's all ready to accept tracks uh, so let's manually build this one and then all the subsequent ones uh, scheduler will be building them at their designated times like the 4 p.m. one will be built here at 340 but let's get it started let's pick the correct uh, time we're in the three o'clock hour now let's get the tracks for three o'clock and it switches over to scheduler uh, the schedulers log uh, shows you all the work it did to get the tracks if you're ever uh, wondering uh, how scheduler makes its decisions or you're wondering why something worked or didn't work uh, probably more why something didn't work or worked uh, in a way that you didn't expect read this log it's very important 
And if it doesn't make sense from this log, make sure to copy this whole log, a whole entry like this, uh, uh, and send that to me uh, with your question about, well, why didn't this work? And hopefully I can glean enough from the information I see in the log to give you an explanation. But I do try to make it uh, fairly explanatory. So now these got programmed and they're playing. And the reason you're not hearing them is because I left DJ on a mute mode. So we'll turn that back on for a second so we can hear. This must be the love. This must be I'll turn it back the off. And we can see it programmed uh, a little bit uh, uh, beyond the, the four o'clock hour. So it, it basically went near the target. It couldn't hit um, exactly to the uh, the four o'clock. There are other ways to actually hit to an exact second and actually find an exact uh, match. Um, but I'll show that in another video. So this is just going to program hour to hour. Here's our three o'clock hour. And then when we get to 340, it will program the four o'clock hour and it will just run on like that forever. You do have to keep scheduler running. You don't have to keep the window open. You can just close the window there and um, and it all should run 24 seven jukebox. Uh, and it a little bit better than a jukebox. It actually has wonderful radio transitions. Just a very simple schedule setup.